Uh, my name is Stephanie Goosen. I am a transport and patrol specialist. Um, we do transports for inmates, for medical appointments, and for court. When we're not doing transports, we go to different sites all across the Denver metro area, um, just pretty much making sure that all the areas are secure, um, that there's not any sort of like tampering or break-ins. Um, if there's any sort of transient activity, we have to make sure that we get those off property. Um, pretty much any safety maintenance issues, um, we report those back to the back to the property owners. If we're not doing our regular hits, we can have service calls to like go help with clients and stuff like that. Um, before I did this job, I worked for DOC on and off um, for gosh, I don't know, like four or five years. Um, I worked in the uh, mental health unit, so I dealt with a lot. I worked in closed custody, all male, all of that. Um, and then before that, I did some armed security as well. My friend um, that I grew up with, he was a corrections officer for quite a while before I did it. Um, and he kind of talked me into joining the field. I, I don't know, I guess when I was a kid, I wanted to be a cop. I always played like cops and robbers or whatever. But yeah, he was like a huge influence on trying to get me to do that. So I started in DOC, um, realized that I wanted to move more towards this side of things, um, being in transport or patrol. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, like I grew up with him and he was like, you need to do it, you'd be good at it. So here I am. Yeah, no, this job's nice. The transport part of it is is the better part, I would I would say, especially because, like I said, with, with my experience, this job is nice because you actually get to have them come out, and it's a more positive experience. Because, um, like, even though they are criminals, um, they're still humans, and they enjoy actually having good human interactions. So yeah, I, I came from Washington to here, um, and I was looking for a job. I was working at Amazon actually um, when I first came out here, and found this job. It was like a blessing though, honestly. I wanted to stay in the field of working in public safety um, and this was like the perfect job. It was like one of the first things I found on Indeed. So, I mean this job, it's tough because like you deal with a lot of people that really are just in bad situations. They're not bad people, they just got put into bad situations. The homeless population has definitely grown in a lot of different areas of downtown Denver. We go almost everywhere in the metro area, but downtown is the worst. Um, I have found that some of the sites that used to be really bad um, are actually getting a lot better uh, because of our patrols. Even some of the clients will come out and say like, oh my god, it's been so much better since you guys have started coming here. It helps when we do our patrols. So having to like actually tell somebody like, hey, you can't be here when like they're just really looking for somewhere to relax, it kind of sucks. But I mean, it is the job. and. When it comes to any sort of interaction, if you go into interaction with somebody and you are being negative, they're gonna be negative back towards you. Um, like I always go into situations with the utmost respect because I mean, A, you never know how they're gonna react and if you give them respect, they're gonna give you respect back typically. And um, like I always try to have a positive impact rather than a negative because most of the time I'm gonna see these people again. I can kick them out five times in one week. <laughs> so um, they're gonna remember me, they're gonna remember my face, and they're gonna remember our uniform and whoever else has to be the next person. So having respect is always the best thing. It was like my first week on the job, um, me and the gentleman that was training me arrived at the old mill or whatever that's up in Boulder. Um, as we were getting ready to leave, actually we noticed a bike that was sitting just on the outside of the gate. So I was like, well, hey, like, should we go check that out? And he was like, yeah, let's do. So we walked over there and we ended up finding like this big encampment. Like he had, this guy had been living there for quite a while and nobody had noticed him. Um, so we went up and started talking to him and kind of asked him like how long he'd been there. He said that he'd been there for a few months um, and he had a little dog and that little dog was not doing very well at all. Um, it was, it was a pretty much, it was a pretty emotional encounter because uh, the guy was like really upset about the fact that he needed to leave the area. We kind of talked with him for a little bit and the guy that was training me went and grabbed some dog food for the dog because he had some in the trunk. Um, gave him the dog food and we ended up leaving and uh, just a few weeks ago I went back up there and that, that same guy was there getting the rest of his stuff and he flagged me down. I started talking with him and he was sitting there telling me about how like us kicking him out of that area was like the best thing that could possibly happen to him. He actually went on to go be a mechanic down the street um, and was living in like 
an apartment or something like that for the first time in a few years. He actually had a house. So he was like super, super thankful for us and actually getting him to step up and do something about it. I think our job is super important for the simple fact that if there's a presence, a lot of people are more likely to not do something wrong. Um, because a lot of the sites that we go to, the second we start pulling up, people tend to just scatter. <laughs> um, like any sort of transient activity or any sort of criminal activity, you can notice almost immediately when you get there um, that there's something going on and that they notice you and that they just leave. Um, having a, a strong presence is super beneficial in that aspect. We're a good deterrent um, and a good like first initial step. There are some regular transients that stay at certain sites. People that I have come in contact with that I've had to kick out numerous times and they haven't come back since. And that's a good sign because that means that because we keep going back and doing what we're supposed to be doing, they're getting the hint that they can't be in these kind of places. So we typically go to the same places almost every single day. We get to know the clients a lot better. There's one site off of Quebec Street that I go to a lot that I've actually gotten to know the manager and have a good relationship with the manager to the point that she knows my name. Um, we talk every time I go there and she really respects our company for the services that we do. She, uh, she cares about us as, as a company, but also us as people too. Um, Cause every time I go there, she always asks how we're doing and tells us to be safe and all of that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of consistency with this job and a lot of variety with this job. We go to a lot of the same places. We learn a lot of the same things that should be happening there and what looks different or what looks off. It's a lot easier to like notice when something's different um, because of the consistency. So going to certain areas, like you can tell like, oh, hey, that's not normal. That shouldn't be there. Um, that kind of stuff. Like you really get to know the different types of areas and the different types of people that are gonna be around and kind of get an understanding of like how that day is gonna go. There's quite a few different reasons why I like working here. First and foremost, I really enjoy the people that I work with. I think that the team that we have, that we built for the transport team is super strong and a lot of us really care about what we do. Um, and on top of that too, I mean, every day is different. It's never the same. Um, so I get to experience a lot of different things and go a lot of different places. Um, Cause we do have our same routes that we typically go on, but with service calls, like I've, since I've moved here, um, and I wasn't familiar with the area, I've learned pretty much Denver like the back of my hand. Um, so that makes me enjoy my job a lot more. But yeah, I mean, really it's a lot of, a lot of the people. The atmosphere that we have and the team that we have, um, everybody gets along pretty well and it's nice. Uh, moving up to a corporal or a sergeant position is definitely one of the goals that I've had. Um, and when it comes to the fact that we get weekly trainings, um, I'm learning a lot more than what I really anticipated when I joined this job. Um, because I knew that there was obviously trainings and stuff like that, but learning all of that so I can further my career, it'll help me if I do move up to a corporal or to a sergeant or something like that within the company. Being a female in this type of industry, um, it's always difficult to be a female in this type of industry. At other jobs that I've had that are in the same field, it feels like when I was going through training or through academy or anything like that, I felt like I had to overcompensate myself in a lot of different ways to kind of prove that I could be better. Um, and in a lot of different areas that the men didn't have to overcompensate for. Uh, but it feels like at this job at DMPS, it, right off the bat, it felt like I didn't have to do that, that I fit in perfectly and that I didn't have to really like go out and prove myself. I already noticed that I was valued in the company. So I think the biggest difference between us and other security companies is that we have a transport team and K9 team. Um, Cause there aren't, I don't think I've ever heard of any other company that has those two types of teams. Um, because from what I experienced living in a different state, DOC handled um, the transports and transports only. Um, and the K9 team, I think that's cool because, I mean, I thought you had to be a cop to do that. So um, other than that, I mean, I feel like we are more presentable than a lot of different security companies. Like we have better uniforms, better vehicles, and we just kind of look all more well put together than most places. Um, and there's a lot of different varieties of things that you can do within this company too, because you can either just be a regular static and stay at a site constantly, or you can join the patrol team and go anywhere and everywhere, or again, transports and canines. Um, so there's a lot of different variety. 
it's pretty cool.